here's what's probably one of the coolest ants out here. One of these giant cephalodes. <laughs> Those are huge pseudomerics pupae too. In this video, we will be searching the canopy in this amazing tropical rainforest, trying to find all of the insane and crazy arboreal ant diversity. Let's get into it. So here's a genus that I was expecting but also hoping to find down here are these Azteca. They've kind of moved a little bit. Uh, you can imagine them kind of like a tropical Wyomatopum. They're super cool. So we're used to normal Ferelius in Arizona, you know, live underground, suck. These ones make carton nests on the undersides of leaves. They still and suck. And they still suck. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that. And they're still bad. Crazy. This is really, really cool. We got some twig nesting fedoli. Let me go ahead and slap my macro lens on really quick. Coming out, trying to see what's up. Of all the genera I was expecting to find in twigs, fedoli was not one of them. That's cool. So I mentioned these guys being like tropical lyomatopum, and here they are being very defensive, very angry. They were not trailing like this five minutes ago. It's just because I'm here and creating vibrations that they're on high alert trying to defend their nest and the, tr the tree from, from me, basically. Super awesome, that's so cool to see. Do these Apterostigma collare count as arboreal ants? I mean, they may not be twig nesting like a lot of the other ones, but if you look at where they're nesting... Sure looks pretty arboreal to me. In this here twig is a little founding chromatiaster queen. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get her out to show you guys. Well, I guess it wasn't a founding queen. It was an incipient colony with five workers. Look at that. They're doing pretty well for themselves. Of course, they're going to have a little bit of a harder time now that I've busted open their nest, but they'll figure themselves out. Here's what's probably one of the coolest ants out here. One of these giant cephalodes. A Tratus group. So cool. Look at the spines. Walk around your hand. And it's giant. So cool. Got chromatic aster in this one. Tiny goofy Campanotus. Inside the twigs. Yeah, just right down in there. Of course, you can't see it because there's no light in there, but there's this, this one right here. It's just more than chromatic aster on this. It is just more fucking chromatic aster. Dude! Yeah, why not? It's a good video, because they're exposed. Exposed chromatos. Now we're going back in. Uh, can't tell yet. There's definitely something in here. Oh, yeah. Pseudomerics pupae. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Those 
Those are huge Pseudomyrmex pupae too. Oh, maybe this is the black species. It's possible, although those pupae are orange. Oh yeah, sure. I knew I saw something. They are orange and they're huge. Oh, those are actually really cool. Or, well, that's a callow, so I guess they could darken out more, but... I don't know. Yeah, I just found big orange pseudomermaids. Just those little tiny pseudomermaids. Oh, they're coming out now. Getting angry. I don't want to be stinging me. You'll be fine. Dang. They're really unhappy. There's none coming out of here because it's completely blocked with brood. Check out those little cephalodes. These guys are so cute. So we had a feeling that this was going to be the case. Because we've kind of been finding them, you know, up in the trees a lot. But out of this twig here, I just cracked one of these Neoponera queens. So they are definitely twig nesters, which we had a hunch that they were. So it's cool to confirm that. We haven't found a big colony of them yet, but you know, seeing a queen nesting in wood like that pretty much confirms it. Check out these tiny little wood nesting fidoli. Had a major poke its head out just now, but seems to have gone back inside. We found these before, still haven't ID'd them yet, but I'll let you know in the video if we can figure it out. There's a bunch of them in this little branch, and in all the dead branches around on this tree seems to be one big colony. But they're, they're pretty cute little guys. So here on this palm leaf, is the beginnings of a woven dolichoterus nest. Just a satellite that they're creating, and of course we've made them all mad, so now they're trailing up and down there. No brood or queen or anything in there yet, but they're just starting to weave this, uh, this new nest on the bottom of this palm frond. Pretty cool. I just ripped off this, this plant stem to look at this Katie did, which, uh, to give it credit, it's, it's a pretty cool Katie did. But in the stem of the plant was an entire Neoponera colony. We knew that these little Neoponera were arboreal nesting, but we did not expect them in, in plants like these, these live stems. And we actually did see the queen. Actually, is that a male too? Yeah, yeah, yeah that one's got a male of late. Uh, and there was, the queen was running around, got some workers on his arm down here. That is so cool. Just a whole Neoponera colony and a little leaf stem. Totally unexpected. Look at this giant Azteca queen that just flew in. It was super cool. Basically tropical lion with opum. Very, very dope. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here with this beautiful Nasuda termes colony that we found. This was just the beginning of the amazing week-long trip to Costa Rica that I had. So please get subscribed, notifications, so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks.